Great. Is there anything up on Kyle and how significant? Yeah, I think he just tweaked it. Um, he just mentioned in there uh, that he was okay. So I thought I think if he had to have had to go, Doug, he would have been okay. And that was it, you know. So, um, it, you know, it's, it, when you go in there for layup, there's a lot of feet in there, a lot of uh, bodies. So he goes up, comes down, and just tweaked it a little bit. Must be nice to get a laugh and let you play a lot of guys and get a sort of night off. Well, not a night off. I mean, we used to, we're still building something, and it's serious. And, and um, you know, it gave us an opportunity to look at bikes as a point guard. As a backup, uh, Julian Stone did give us a good look at those guys in real, real games since we don't have practice. So, for me, it was serious. I mean, I, you know, I take every game serious, every practice serious. Um, you know, because if it goes the other way, it's not a laugher. You know, so that's that's the that's the thing. So it gave us an opportunity to get some work in, look at different people, and different combinations. <laughs> Quincy played more tonight than he has all year. What, what did you think of him? I thought he, I thought he came in. I, I thought he came in and, and gave it uh, about his three point shooting. <laughs> he, uh, he, he can, he, him and Amir, those are the shots that, uh, like I told them, if it's late in the shot clock, you know, they're open, disrespect you, take it. But what we don't need is, you know, we one pass, one uh, possession. He had Steve Novak to his right, who's one of the best three point shooters in the world. Uh, wide open, so just you know, make sure we make the right selection of threes for those two guys. I don't ever want to take a, a guy, tell a guy not to take because they work on it every day religiously, and so. Uh, but it's a time and place for everything. Dwayne, you've been looking for some separation in, in your backup point guard. Anything tonight? I mean, you got a lot more. It's running. tough because uh, DJ has clearly got more experience. He's savvy. Uh, he's just still trying to find his way, and it's nothing tonight that he did wrong. We know what DJ can do. You know, he's still one of our guys, <clears throat> but we needed to see what Bikes could do in real time, what Julian could do in real time. Um, so, again, I thought Bikes came in and gave us some 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 quickness, some speed, some some energy. Uh, but again, you saw at the end, DJ came in and still ran the show. So. I don't think it's a lot of separation. We got, you know, three quality point guards. <clears throat> was this a 48-minute effort you were talking about the other day yes, that you were looking yes, to see? Yes, yes. You know, it, for, no matter who you play, you got to give it 48. We started the game out, and we ended it playing the game the right way, and that's what we're looking for. Um, that's what this league is about, playing hard for 48 minutes and making sure we play the game the right way. Keep a defensive focus. You could, we could easily lost our focus. We kept our defensive schemes going the entire time that they had their guys in, and we did a good job with that. Um, I thought Tyler Hansborough, you know, was just a handful, and that's the kind of intensity that it takes to win to to be a winning program uh, every night, not just once a month, but every night. And uh, what he's doing is contagious. Julian. Especially in the preseason and a few chances, he almost looks allergic to scoring. Did, did he? Did he seem to get off this night a bit? Tonight? See, if you gonna tell Julian that? You tell Julian that he's allergic to scoring. No, he. I, I tell you, he he made a three, didn't he? Did he make a three tonight? He made a three last night against Indiana. So uh, you know, thus he, he's got those looks. He works on it. Um, he's a veteran player. I tell you, Denver did a good job of grooming him. Um, Masai did a good job of finding him. Uh, his thing is just health. I mean, he's an NBA, big time NBA player, but he's just got to stay healthy and keep his body going. And because he's got a defensive presence that we need to guard different type of players, uh, I wouldn't have had any problem him guarding Haywood or last night he, uh, George or anybody. So because of his defensive uh, disposition. How's his conditioning? He was still like he feels better now. But yeah, it's, it's a difference between practice and drills and and real game, real time. And uh, he and Bikes both, I was concerned about Bikes going, you know, the whole quarter, but it's good conditioning for him. Again, we haven't had an opportunity to practice just because four games in five nights, and that, you know, that, that kind of catches you. And you know, this month, like I've always said, is a booger. It's not over yet. And uh, we've got some tough games with little practice time. So we got to make sure we take these opportunities to work on different things, defensive schemes, offensive sets, and, uh, and win at the same time.